Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be collaborating with Heather Austin on the influence of influencers tag. It's a really interesting tag that I think a lot of you guys will like. So if you want to hear what that's all about, then just keep watching. Hey guys, if you are new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love sharing my thoughts with you on all of the new makeup that's out on the market. And for today's video, I'm going to be doing a new tag that I first saw Karen Harris do. And it's called the influence of influencers tag. And basically it's just about how I, as an influencer, which bleh, <laughs> I'm not an influencer, but I suppose I am, but how I, somebody who has a YouTube channel, gets influenced by influencers also on this platform. So this tag was originally created by Leora Goldberg. I'm gonna put her video down for you guys, but I first saw Karen Harris do it. And today I'm really excited because I'm going to be collaborating with my friend Heather Austin on today's video. If you aren't subscribed to Heather, if you are looking for a good time, please go ahead and go subscribe to her channel right now. So Heather, okay, is one of the few people in my lack of time that I have right now that I am still making an effort to watch every single one of her videos. If you guys are just looking for a real authentic person to watch, I definitely am going to send you guys her way. She is so kind, such a genuine person. She makes me laugh. And the whole premise of her videos is she's just here to have fun. She's just here to throw on the makeup that she wants to throw on and talk about it with you guys. And I just love sitting with my cup of coffee in the morning watching her videos because it truly feels that that way. I've just really been enjoying the content that she's been choosing to do as well. I really like the palettes that she purchases and she reviews because a lot of times they're not palettes that I would personally purchase, but I want to know people's thoughts on them. So then I go to her because she does review different products than I do a lot of the times. So it just really expands my knowledge on other products and not to mention it's coming from a kind, genuine, funny person. And I think you all will also be able to relate to her and really love her channel as well. So make sure you go subscribe to her channel and check out her videos and without further ado let's get into the questions so i must admit today's video my answers are not going to be very good because let me answer the first question are you influenced by others or do you follow your own path and here's the thing i'm very influenced by others, absolutely. Before I had a channel, when I was a viewer, every purchase I made was because I got influenced by an influencer. My problem is, you guys, <laughs> because I now have my own channel, I purchase the products before I can be influenced by someone else. If it is a product that I have even a little bit of interest in, I will purchase it for my channel. And if the product doesn't interest me at all, it probably isn't gonna interest me after the fact also. So yes. I am very easily influenced by others, but because I just buy everything now that I know I'm gonna want for my channel, I'm no longer influenced by others. <laughs> <laughs> because I already have it. And also, you guys, I'm just gonna be quite honest and I don't wanna sound like I'm complaining, but straight up, I just don't watch YouTube like I used to to be able to learn about new products because I'm trying to balance teaching and doing my YouTube. So instead of me watching people to get influenced, I'm spending my extra time like making those videos for you guys. Question number two, who inspired you so much that you wanted to start your own channel? So I've been a viewer of YouTube for a very long time before I created my channel, I was 12 and I was watching beauty YouTube. So there isn't one specific person that inspired me to start my channel. I just watched YouTube for so long that all of that cumulatively made me want to start a channel. I will say though, the first beauty YouTuber that I really felt a kinship to, I suppose, was X 3 And if you remember her, you are an OG. She was the very first YouTuber that I really felt like I could relate to and I enjoyed watching. I would say, since she was the first one that I found, it's gotta be her, and that was like 10 years ago, so. <laughs> okay, so number three, name some of the amazing products that you bought because other influencers recommended them to you. I've picked up a lot of products here and there. I would say most recently, I got into Sydney Grace because of Mel Thompson and Kelsey Brianna J. They were the ones that sold me in the beginning, and then I bought more Sydney Grace because of Karen Harris. So that is the most recent one 
that I can think of that I was influenced by. There's been a lot of other things in my collection that I've been influenced by, but the most recent is definitely Sydney Grace. That was a true I got influenced. Oh no, and another one, okay. Another one that I've really been liking is the BK Beauty Brushes. Britt Clark put me onto these, and these I just filmed in my September favorites. So this was another one that I was influenced to purchase. Recently, Sydney Grace, BK Beauty. Number four, what's the worst purchase influenced by another influencer you've ever made? Again, I'm just thinking of recently, and I have to say it's the Pure and Raw Beauty Christie collaboration, and I do feel very bad saying that. And it wasn't a specific influencer, it was just the community as a whole. I didn't purchase it, it was very kindly gifted to me, but I was very, very curious, and the reason that I wanted it was because of all of the great reviews that I had and that one was something that I wouldn't have purchased initially at all until I heard and saw all of the reviews and I just was not a big fan of that palette. I did not like the quality of it. Number five, who are your favorite influencers whose recommendations you trust unconditionally? I trust a lot of YouTubers specifically in my community. I would say I trust all of my friends here, I know they definitely are super honest. If I, we're just talking big ones though, because anybody in my community, they're all trustworthy. I can tell you that. But as far as the big ones, because that's where I get really picky, I would say I trust Samantha Ravendahl. She's one of the big ones that I trust unconditionally. I think Raw Beauty Christie also keeps it very real. I don't agree with all of their recommendations because we all have different tastes in makeup, but I do think think that they aren't swayed a certain direction other than their own. Those are the two big ones that I would say I trust unconditionally on the big sale. And her name is Juicy Jazz. That's another really big one. I trust her opinion. She's very, very good as well. Um, number six is FOMO a thing in your life? You should just rename my channel FOMO. <laughs> I mean, I don't, yeah. I've been very blessed to where I'm able to give in to my FOMO because of the platform that I've been given. Yes, I don't want to miss out on any of the good makeup releases and it's not a good thing. You shouldn't have FOMO. It's just makeup. But as far from a creator's standpoint, I definitely have FOMO. I don't want to miss out on that good review, you know? Number seven, how much money have you spent in the last three months on products you discovered through other influencers? Like I said, I would say I haven't been influenced by other influencers to purchase too many things recently. So I don't think I've spent that much on products that, oh, I saw this person talking about it. I need to get it because I allocate all of my money that goes to makeup for makeup for my channel. So I really do make an effort not to purchase things on the side here and there just because I want them or because I heard they were good. All of the money that I spend on makeup is specifically for my channel. So I wouldn't say it's really that much. I will say I did spend, I wanna say two to $300 recently from a couple places of products that I've been watching a lot of people review and I wanted to own them. So I did purchase some items for myself recently for a few hundred dollars but for the most part I don't spend too much money I would say on myself <laughs> I spend a lot of money on makeup, don't mix it up. But as far as discovered through other influencers, I try to shy away from doing that because I feel like it takes away money that I want to spend into my channel. Number eight, have you ever bought something you didn't initially want to buy because another influencer convinced you that you have to have it? And if so, what is it? Well, to start, I convinced myself I didn't need these BK Beauty brushes because I didn't need any more brushes, but I'm very happy with these. So Britt did that for me. I do recall Sigma Beauty palettes, buying them based on Kelly Gooch and Karen Harris's recommendation. And unfortunately, those palettes didn't work out for me as much as I would have liked for them to. But those I didn't initially want, and then I definitely wanted them after I saw the reviews and people loving them, and I didn't love them as much as I wished. But that, and then also Melt palettes. I passed on Melt Cosmetics palettes for months, but everybody kept talking about them. And it takes a lot for me to buy something if I just see one positive review. You guys, which is why I can't give you a specific name, is because it's based on the general consensus. And as far as Melt Cosmetics, that was another one that took me months to buy. I didn't want it at first, but then I have a lot of Melt 
palettes now and that's that. What's the most important thing you have learned by watching other influencers? I've learned a lot from watching influencers just based on the years and years I've been watching influencers and I would say, okay, I'm changing my answer because the answer that I filmed was really dumb. <laughs> um, but I've literally learned everything that I know about YouTube and just about everything that I know about makeup from YouTube. So I've gained so much knowledge, so much wealth from watching YouTube for years. But I would say recently what I've learned from my own community is you don't have to be this perfect, amazing makeup artist. I think when I first started my YouTube career, career, <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. When I first started my YouTube channel, I was so worried about getting these crazy cut crease looks and being really artistic and very talented and at the end of the day like I love doing makeup but I do have my own style and it's not anything really defined or artistic I'm not drawing pictures on my eyeballs I'm just I can't do that and what I've really learned from watching other influencers within my own community is that doesn't matter if you love makeup and you're just willing to share that with everybody that is all people care about they just want somebody else to talk about makeup with and just from watching my community it's taken a lot of pressure away from me to feel the need to create these crazy looks and be different and stand out in that way when at the end of the day I love creating makeup looks and I love creating beautiful makeup looks but I'm not trying to be somebody else I'm doing the makeup looks that I like to do and it's really allowed me to dive into my love for product knowledge because before I felt like I don't know I wasn't qualified to talk about products and share my thoughts with you but really that's what I'm interested in I more so love sharing my knowledge about products so yeah I mean that's what I've learned through my own community and I'm so forever grateful for that number 10 do you watch the kind of content you create or do you go for something different and why absolutely that is about 90% of the things that I watch on YouTube is is people who create videos just like me on the same products that I review and this is my favorite corner of YouTube through and through. That's why I created a channel here. If you could influence a large number of other influencers to try one thing that's really important to you or works well for you, what would it be? Don't hate me, but I'm gonna say Pat McGrath palettes. Those for me really changed the game and I know a lot of other influencers have tried the Pat McGrath palettes, don't really think that it's worth it and that is okay, but I do think everybody should at least give them a try and if you can see what is so special about her special formulas you will thank me and you know what not everybody appreciates what i appreciate and that's okay but definitely give pat mcgrath a try i think it's worth it busy art too i think when you look at busy art you think blah boring but uh quality you know i'm more so coming from the standpoint that my channel is more so based on products as opposed to artistry i personally put a lot of importance on products and companies and formulations as opposed to making it work because there are some people that don't care about the product if it works it works there's no need to spend a lot of money on a product but there's also people like me where for me it's about the luxury experience how the packaging looks how the packaging feels how the formula blends out the very fine 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 details of a product so it depends what kind of person you are but i want everybody to experience a pat mcgrath palette if anybody is looking for quality shadows viziart pat mcgrath natasha denona those are like charlotte tilbury too all of those they're very expensive i don't think everybody needs them but if you give them a try you really get a taste of quality so that is all I have for today's video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. It was definitely a little bit different than what I've been posting, but I kind of just wanted to sit here and talk and all of that good stuff. So if you haven't checked out Heather's video, make sure you guys do it right now. I beg of you. You won't regret it, okay? And yeah, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.